Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with episode number 375 of Ask Dave. Tonight we're going to help another ham find a way to put up an antenna. The question comes from uh, W4FTP, okay? And he has a 70 foot or so tree in my backyard with a fence intersection. And I was thinking when I was reading this, oh, that's pretty good, that's cool. I had an Uncle Warren, who's now Silent Key, who said that I could put up a wire around my tree horizontally for at least 140 feet and the intersection of the fences would make a good counterpoise. Well, maybe. If you want to check me out at Google Maps, there's his address, and we are going to take a look. I'd like your opinion. I'd like to run a 20 meter, 40 meter wire, and whatever I can get with the balance of the tree. Would I be running into issues doing that? Well, don't know till you try it. What should I look out for? Well, you're gonna to need to look out for a bunch of power lines that I saw. I need an experienced opinion. Thank you for your time in 73. Now, on QR said, he says his HF rig is a 10 Tech Omni D. That's an older rig, but a very good one. That was the top of the line 10 Tech at the time, probably 20, 25 years ago, with a Cushcraft multi band vertical. Well, let's go take a look. Okay, here we are looking at his home. Um, if we go down a little bit, we see that we're at a street corner and we're kind of on a hill a little bit. He's got a, a water gutter there for a storm drain. And he has this home on the corner. He has this big tree out here. Uh, well, it's big by standards of where I am. This is about the height of the trees out where we are. Now, note he's got power lines running right here, including the high tension wires. Now, if you were to look across the street, you would actually see, oh, you'd have to see it right there. Uh, let's, let's go up. And you see he's got high tension wires running right there. And then there's a freeway right out uh, over there. Okay, so this is the home that we're looking at. Let's get a north up view of it again. Now, if we go to just the street view, we can see where the property lines are and where the home is okay now we go back to the satellite and we see that the uh, property line is right through here okay and then right down along here now if we look at the home again let's go down here and come over and look at this i'm gonna okay we've got this he's got a couple of uh, future trees here there's not much he can do here because this is all exposed. We note he's got a flagpole right here, uh, which could be loaded. I mean, if this is a traditional flagpole, you can come up and do a gamma match on it like that and get uh, whatever kind of a, an antenna you would want on that. So um, we've got that to work with. Then we look at these trees that are in the back. These look so great from the air, okay? But when we come down and look at them here, we see there's a fence. This is the fence he's talking about. And let's just scoot over here just a little bit more. Okay, here, here is the fence that he's talking about right here. This is his property corner, and these, um, these are the trees that he's talking about. Again, he's got high tension wires right there, okay, and other wires around here. So lots of wires, lots of potential for uh, interference. Now let's go back and, and look at that front view um, again. The Internet is not the fastest tonight it's ever been. Okay, I want to go over here and, well, let's just look at these trees right here. One of the problem with these trees is that they are thin. They are very thin. These are not the kind of trees that you climb. 
you you know maybe a child or a I don't know a cat could get up here into the tall parts of these trees but you're not going to get uh, much around it if you're going to wrap a wire around this tree what you are going to have to do is get uh, one of those uh, lifts a man lift that you can park right here or park in the backyard wherever and then start uh, winding your wire around that tree I would not wire it as a big coil but rather kind of draped and sort of semi around the thing until you get up as uh, high as you want to go because uh, otherwise you're introducing a lot of inductance now use insulated wire of course uh, because if the uh, uh, if the uh, uninsulated wire bonds with the tree it can short so you don't want to do that use insulated wire now what you could do and this is what he was was asking was whether he could use the fence here as a counterpoise okay so if he were to go up in this tree he could bring down the antenna down to here bring the wire down to here maybe somewhere over here put in a ground rod okay the wire goes up from there that's connected to the center of the coax and then the um, shield of the coax connected to the ground wire and then you can run wires out to the fence posts the fence here and bring that in now one thing you've got to be careful of is that these uh, connections here on the on the fence are all push-in connections. They are not soldered or anything like that. You may have to get a little bit of grounding wire and some hose clamps and bind the wire across the connectors so that it's it's well connected. But yeah, it could act as a counterpoise for this would be very interesting to see so let's come out here and go around to the front again it's a very pretty neighborhood um, okay so looking at here I mean other options other options okay here is a tree that has been trimmed and you can see that there are things growing on it right here uh, for a 40 meter vertical you need uh, 33 feet vertical 33 feet and you could do that 33 feet I think pretty easily with that right there and then down to the bottom again uh, now keep that lift around long enough that you can uh, you know make sure you've got the right lengths and everything now note 33 feet for 40 meter dipole 66 feet which would be way up in here would be an 80 meter uh, vertical I said 40 meter dipole I meant 40 meter vertical one of the problems of course is that these trees are going to way sway in the wind okay so um, you've got to do something to um, diminish what's going to happen now you are mentioning something about wrapping wire around the whole thing boy that'd be hard to do um, but if you did that if you've somehow overcome gravity and did that uh, you could uh, treat this as a long wire antenna uh, you could use against the fence as a counterpoise but uh, treat it as a long wire you would need a wide range tuner to do that and another thing you could do is take a wire from say up here which is a reasonable height to this tree to this tree back over to this tree and then back over to here although remember this this one these aren't going to sway much in the wind they don't have much foliage but these will way sway in the wind so you've got to do something to make sure you don't break that wire you could just bring it to the top of the flagpole now I don't know where your um, vertical is hidden it must be behind the house because I don't see an antenna out here and I have a feeling you'd kind of like to keep it that way so again this tree right here would make a very nice 
tree for putting up a 33 foot uh, vertical uh, put a, a ground rod at the bottom of it either run radials which is what I'd recommend or uh, use the, uh, the fence as a counterpoise I would recommend running radials um, another thing you could do if you wanted a multiband antenna in there is get the DX commander from uh, Great Britain uh, from Callum in Great Britain and the DX commander antenna and then you can just kind of hide it in the trees it's only 33 feet tall it's black hide it in the trees it's the equivalent of a fan dipole except it's a fan vertical and you could just stick it up in here nobody would see it you do want to run radials for that out there so i uh, commend your gardening skills and your grass cutting skills you live in that part of the country where you have to uh, take care of your yard or it'll take care of you i'll tell you okay so there we have it this is uh, a look at uh, what we can do here let's go back okay thank you very much for your time today we've taken a look at uh, w4ftp and some options that he has had and uh, offer those to him please comment on this video please comment and say well here's something else they could do or have you tried this or have you thought of this or here's what trouble you might have with grounding this is where the comments really come in helpful by the way just as a little update for myself i got my vaccine today for covid19 and i got rid of that silly boot i am now officially healed from the broken ankle so to celebrate that if you would like to help provide any uh, financial support to this channel you can go to uh, let's see decastlercom support and until we next meet 73